We've all probably went into the situation of choosing between two drugs. One of them is herbal and the other is chemical. The pharmacist would give you two ways, either to choose the safe route or the fast route. Today we're going to explain all the differences between chemical and herbal drugs to see which one is the best for you. Starting with sources and composition, herbal drugs from its name is derived from plants, herbs, and minerals. It typically contains multiple compounds that work together, often in their raw or minimally processed form, while chemical drugs is synthetically produced in laboratories designed to isolate a specific active ingredient to target specific biological processes. For regulation and standardization, herbal drugs are usually less regulated in many countries in comparison to chemical drugs, which might lead to a dosage and potency difference between various products. While on the other hand, chemical drugs are heavily regulated, at least most of them. So they have precise dosage, quality control, and strict manufacturing standards that ensures consistency and safety. Now for the most important important part, efficacy. Herbal drugs might be effective for mild to moderate cases or as preventative treatments, like using chamomile for sleep or ginger for nausea. Herbal drugs efficacy varies due to fewer clinical studies and variable potency, while chemical drugs have proven effectiveness for a wide range of clinical cases. It's backed by extensive clinical trials and research, which leads to reliable outcomes. Now on a side note, there are many chemical supplements that are not regulated, and there are sold in the market right now. I'm speaking about chemical drugs that are used for medical conditions, not for supplementation. For side effects and safety, herbal drugs usually win. They are generally prescribed because they have fewer side effects. However, some herbs might cause adverse side effects and can interact with other medications. Now, chemical drugs are more likely to cause side effects due to the potency and targeted action. Side effects are well documented and their risks are often monitored by healthcare providers. When it comes to the cost, herbal drugs are often cheaper and more accessible without a prescription. They are often available everywhere in health stores, online stores, and even home remedies. Now chemical drugs have two ways, either the over-the-counter drugs or Rx or prescription medications. The stronger medications usually need a prescription from a doctor and are more expensive due to the research behind them and the studies that had to be made. Now most people right now have insurance, which can decrease the cost of the prescription medications. Now, which one should you choose? There are a lot of people who have the holistic alternative treatment way who can choose herbal drugs. And the other kind of people who want something fast, something reliable, well studied, and want something that they know that they will get their desired outcome in a small amount of time. In this case, you have to go for the chemical drugs. For hard medical cases or some high risk illnesses, you can't treat it with herbal or alternative medications. You have to go the chemical chemical clinical route. For mild conditions like you have nausea, you have um, stomach ache, you can take the herbal drugs. If you want to decrease or lower the dosage of the chemical drugs, you can add something herbal with it or take it after it for the safety. Do not prescribe herbal medication with a chemical medication on your own. That's up to your doctor. If you're not sure of what you're taking, do not take it. If it's chemical, if it's herbal, if it's a supplement, whatever you do, consult your doctor. You can either call a family doctor, family medicine doctor, or call the community pharmacist or go to the pharmacy and ask them about the efficacy of this drug or if you can take it or you should take it. You might be paying more for something that's not effective or not for your case. That's my opinion on this topic. What's your opinion? What do you prefer, herbal or chemical drugs? Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and comment down below what you wanna know about next and I'll see you in the next one.